Hi, I'm Saeed Amin, the co-founder of the Talesians, a quant think tank and meetup group. More recently, we've also started to do consulting and research in the area of systematic trading. I'm here to talk about the top five themes for quant finance in the coming years. Number one, career paths for quants. The career paths for quants have traditionally been towards the area of derivatives pricing. But increasingly, you start to see quants in other areas of the finance industry. So most notably within trading, also within the measurement of risk, and also in terms of regulatory areas as well. So I think as a church, uh, quant finance is a lot broader than it used to be. Number two, big data. There is so much available data for quants to use these days, and it's not just pricing data. Uh, if you just think about all the data on the internet as an example, most of this, for example, is unstructured textual data. But the question for quants is how do they use this data in a more meaningful way for the impact of their jobs? So I think that's going to be a key question going forward is how can quants use big data, for example, to come up with trading signals to improve their risk models and the like. And it's an area that I've been actively working on myself. Number three, more players. Quant finance has traditionally been dominated by organizations such as banks and also to some extent hedge funds. But these days you've begun to see a burgeoning uh, fintech sector and that's been very big in London. For example, we've seen Level 39, which is the largest fintech accelerator in Europe, build up over the few years past. And for example, Talesians is a member of that group. Number four, the cloud. Everyone's been talking about the cloud and it's been used by many different uh, companies uh, within different industries. So for example, Netflix uses the cloud to stream all of their content. However, within the finance industry, it's not being utilized as much as it could be. One of the concerns at the moment, for example, is security. But I can see over the coming years, these concerns being solved to some extent. And I can see banks actually beginning to use the clouds a lot more in terms of what they do uh, to facilitate their business. Number five open source. Much of the code that's been written within the finance industry, particularly in banks, has been closed sourced. So you've seen a lot of banks, for example, developing their own quant libraries separately. But in recent years, we've begun to see banks and other organizations begin to see the benefits of open sourcing your code. Essentially, commoditized elements of that code can be given to the community. And at the same time, you actually get better code because more people are contributing to it and also improving it whilst at the same time you can keep the most competitive part of your code, the proprietary bits, for yourself. Um, I can see this as a trend going forward, the increasing use of open source software within the finance community. I look forward to seeing you at Global Derivatives in Budapest. I'll be discussing trend-following strategies and I'll also be teaching at a full-day workshop with Paul Billicon on systematic trading and electronic trading as well. And well, There's going to be a lot of Python demonstrations during that day too. Uh, and if you want to know more, please look at globalderivativeslive.com. See you in Budapest.